Hello fans of Gift and Freedom Baking, let's celebrate Christmas early by doing many Christmas baking. To be notified of all my Christmas recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Freedom Baking. You can also get in touch with me by following my Instagram and Facebook page. My recipe today is a Christmas tree sambusca filled with minced beef. So here I have 3 cups of sifted self raising flour. This recipe requires 1 teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, half a teaspoon of ground mahlab and 2 tablespoons of sugar which I will add later to the milk. I have as well 1 tablespoon of instant dried yeast and a quarter of a cup of butter ghee but you can replace with normal butter or oil. For this recipe I will use 1 cup of warm milk and always set aside an extra milk just in case you need more for the dough. I have already cooked 350 grams of beef mincemeat and I have by the side one medium egg for brushing the pastry and mix of sesame seed and nigella seed for sprinkling on the top. Start first by adding the teaspoon of salt to the flour, then the half teaspoon of brown cardamom and the half teaspoon of gram mahlab to the flour and mix to combine all together. For this dough, I will use one cup of warm milk, which is body temperature. Do not overheat it, otherwise it will spoil the yeast. To the warm cup of milk, I will add quarter cup of butter ghee, and to that I will add two tablespoons of the sugar, and I will mix to combine first. When baking, always keep by the side extra warm milk, just in case you need more liquid to the dough. Now you can add the tablespoon of instant dry yeast to the warm milk and mix to combine until you see foams on the top, that means it is active. Once you notice that the yeast is alive and active by forming all the bubbles on the top, you can pour the liquid into the flour and start mixing and combining everything together. Keep kneading and if it's a bit dry, you can add 2 tablespoons of the warm milk and continue kneading until you reach a very soft sticky dough. The more you knead the dough, you will end up reaching a very silky soft dough. Now as you can see, I have finished kneading the dough and it's really soft to the touch dough. I have 1 tablespoon of butter ghee which I will rub it between the palms of my hand and cover the dough and the size of the bowl. Now it's time for the dough to rest and proof, so here I have to cover it with a cling film and put it aside in a warm area. While the dough is proofing, I will start getting myself ready. So here I have whisked the egg and added to it quarter teaspoon of pepper and quarter teaspoon of salt. Now the dough should be ready and here it has really proofed and puffed up well and doubled inside. So I will knock the air and start cutting them into sizes. To assemble this dough into this shape of a Christmas tree, I need to cut equal portions of seven small balls and set them into a shape of a pyramid first. Start first by flattening the first ball into a circular shape and fill it with one teaspoon of beef mince meat. Now pinch all the sides of the small dough together to seal it and then roll it between the palm of your hands and that's the first top of the Christmas tree. Continue filling all the bowls with the minced meat and now display it as if you're doing a shape of a pyramid. So you put the second bowl next to the top one and then continue until you reach the bottom. Make sure that you tuck them tightly to each other so they will glue to each other when they bake and have the shape of the Christmas tree. Continue with the same method with all the balls until you reach the bottom which is the feet of the Christmas tree. You need to do it into an oval shape. Make sure the oval shape is long enough to be reaching the three bottom balls. If you want to make a bigger Christmas tree, then you keep adding more balls and then make the feet a bit longer and bigger. After filling all the balls with the mince meat and assembling them into the shape of a Christmas tree, the dough will prove again it will slightly be bigger, so make sure you make it into a consumable size. Now I have finished shaping all these Christmas tree and I guarantee you every bowl and every bite is filled with minced beef meat. 
Once you have assembled all the Christmas tree, now it's time to brush the top layer with the egg wash, the mix of egg with salt and pepper. Once they're all brushed with the egg wash, I will sprinkle them with a mix of sesame seed and nigella seed. It's time to bake this Christmas tree at a preheated fan oven of 180 Celsius and they take between 15 to 20 minutes or until they are golden color. Did you see how easy to make those Christmas tree pastry? And not only that, they are so delicious. They are so soft like cotton and filled with this delicious minced beef meat. Thank you very much for watching this video. For more Sudanese, Egyptian, African or any international recipes, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Gift of Food and Baking until I see you with the next recipe. Bye-bye!